Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Dwarf Romantic, the dwarf dating simulator game. Oh wait, it's not. Oh no, sorry, this is <laughs> this is a German game. Dwarf Romantic means like, like a beautiful village. The actual translation is village romanticization. And after a couple of minutes with this, you'll definitely see why. So let's get into it and I'll explain exactly how it works. Now the full game has finally released. And to celebrate the full launch of this game, the devs have given me 10 Steam codes that I've hidden throughout the video. If you find one, it's first come first served. So good luck. So in the middle, we start off being told hexagons are the best guns. Yes, it's another game where we get to use hexagon tiles. And you can see we start off with, well, a sort of charcoal colored one. And I think this is sort of random. There's like different biomes which give you the tiles different colours. But essentially we're building a village. So let's plonk this down. This is our next tile. You can see it's got a boat in it. And it's got a river piece. And wherever we put this, can you see there's like a highlighted end? That's because we've got grass on this side. We've got grass on that side. So because they match, we get points for that. So let's just click that down there. You can see we've got plus 10 points. That's because one edge was touching. Top right corner. That's our current score. It's 10. So the basic aim is to get the highest score you can before your tiles run out. So on the right here, these are your stack of tiles. You can see we have 39 tiles remaining. And the order these are in from top to bottom, that's your current tile. And they're the ones coming up next. So you can plan ahead if you want to. So this next tile, as you can see on the right, it's got two edges of grass. It's got one edge of housing, which is like villages or towns or whatever. And it's got three edges of cheese. <laughs> If there's any unclaimed meat or cheese, I would like to claim it. No, they are actually hay fields or wheat fields, whatever you want to call them. So I think for now, we'll just shove that there with one edge overlapping. So we get 10 points. Finally, you may have noticed these, the plus two and the plus three numbers on these speech bubbles. They're essentially quests. So on this river one, we've got to make a river at least too long. And then we'll complete the quest. And that gives us five extra tiles. Likewise, on this side, if we create a field that's made up of three or more pieces, it does the same thing. So this next piece is a house with a three plus, And if we add it here, can you see, because we're adding an extra house, that goes to a two plus. So we'll plonk that there. We get 20 points and we're good to go. Next up, we've got a field piece and a house piece. And I don't think they're the right orientation to go there. No, they're the wrong way around. So if we were to place that there, if we couldn't expand this city thing, to complete the quest then we don't lose anything but we we miss out on the opportunity to gain those five tiles so as we want to last longer we're not going to put that over there we're going to put it over this side somewhere like so next up we've got a river i think we'll just plonk that there and then look our little boat keeps moving and you'll notice that river piece has its own quest so when we add one more river piece to that we should complete both of them netting us 10 tiles Okay, so now we've got a square that's got a load of houses on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven houses. So if we plonk this up here, that will complete both those quests. And that's the existing one that's two plus, but also the one on the square, which needs three plus because we're connecting it to three houses that are already there. So plonk that there. We get two plus 100 points completing each of those quests. And our number of tiles have gone up to 44. Now, there's not just river, farm and town pieces. There's also this, a little bit of forest. So we'll make sure that's pointing that way. We get 30 points. The forest can be continued. All is looking good. And now we've just got a piece with loads of cheese that's completely surrounded with cheese. And it comes with its own four plus quest. But if we shove it there to match those two, that completes those two quests. And it means our next one only needs two fields, which is our next piece. So we can literally rotate that, plonk it there. Another quest complete. We're up to 55 tiles. So next up, we've got some forest. I can see below we've got houses and forest next to it. So what I'm thinking, if I shove the forest there and then this one, I can rotate so that the forest does that edge. The town does that edge. You can see the quest gets completed. We're up to 58 tiles, 780 points. We are laughing. Four edges, which means 40 points. All right, now we've got a forest quest, so we'll add that to our forest. You can see the number of trees we needed was 62, but by shoving it there, it goes down to just 21 because there's all of these forest pieces already in place. And then with a few more bits of farms, we've completed the quest and jobs are good. And although now look at this one, can you see this speech bubble? It's got a little, a little triangle in the top corner. Now that means there's a bonus quest. Ooh, bonus. So if we place that there, that's the number of trees we need, which is 69. Nice. So that is the quest completed. Although now look, can you see there is a flag? 
Basically, this is the bonus quest, and it shows we've got to close off the forest in order to complete that quest. So again, that's another bonus. That's another load of more tiles. But if any of these, they get flags, it means we've got to try and close them. So a bit of farm over there, a bit of river there to complete those two quests. Place that tile there, and lo and behold, we've got 69 tiles. Anyway, we'll shove that house there. We'll shove a few more houses in this. And finally, a few more, and that is the quest completed. And look, we've unlocked a new skin, the Beaver Lodge. It's like Timberborn all over again. They've made a little dam and everything. Right, let's claim that. And I think essentially what happens, as you like sort of expand your map, you enter new biomes and things. And I think like one of your normal river pieces will turn into one of those Beaver Lodges. Not entirely sure, but we'll have to see what happens. But right now we have a boat that needs, can you see this one? It needs exactly four pieces. If you add more than four, you fail the mission. So the more than are only the ones with a plus next to the number. So this one will go there and then we just need to add one more piece. But we'll plonk that there to finish this mission. And now you can see this river, it has a flag. So we've got to try and close the river up. But first we've got to try and focus on closing this up. Now, unfortunately, the river pieces it keeps giving us are these huge sea ones. So we're just making like a huge fishing lake at the moment. But look, we did get perfect score and we're back up to a nice amount of tiles. All right, and you can see down here, we've got this farm to finish. So we just need one more farm piece at least. So we could shove that in, but you'll notice the quest we have, it's got an X. So over on the right, you can see what the quest is. It's 10 tiles exactly because there's already 10 farm pieces there. If we were to add that in, we fail the quest. So essentially what I need to do, I need to create a new farm area. So I think we'll probably just shove it that way. All right, and now we've got a bit of river. So if we put that there, that closes off this forest area. That completes the quest. We're up to 76 tiles. We then add some farms over here. Make our lake even bigger. Oh, and look, we've got a railway piece. Our first one of the game. So I'm going to shove this probably just up there for now. Sort of out the way. Oh, we have a very nice river corner piece, so I think I'll do that because that will help us close it up. We'll then add on the remaining bit of farm there and look, we've sort of left ourselves a perfect area there. So if we ever find a tile that has forest on one side, farm next to it and then four grass edges, we should be good to get a perfect score in that. But in the meantime, I'm going to continue to build my town over this way. My railway that has a quest built in up here. And as there's too many houses for this quest, we're going to build another town going this direction. Ooh, and look up here. Can you see this? As it says there, if we build towards this spot, we'll uncover a special tile, sort of like that beaver one. So three bits of farm can go on this one to reduce that down to just two. We'll do big city there. Add one more house on that edge. And then perhaps I can do that there and that there to complete that quest. You then just put a forest quest there and I'm going to shove this ideally like that to complete that quest. Although that leaves one where we've just got to close up the farms. All right, so up here we can add one more house to finish that quest. Oh, and look, we've got a coastal property. We could shove that there to try and finish this off because that's also a flag. Yeah, that looks good to me. Or in fact, what I like doing more than that. I don't know why, but I like to do this in this game. I like to make people live on islands. So you can see down here in this lake, there's already two people. They literally can't get out. They are waterlogged. Their only hope is to get a boat in and out. Uh, and I've got to put one over here. So he's a bit secluded. So that sort of confirms that edge. Oh, and look at this piece we got. So this is called a station. The good thing about these, they can go on water, as you'd expect. But they can also go on railways. So if we head up to the end of this railway, can you see it? Uh, they build a little bridge going into it. So if we rotate, we can we can build that on there. That's very nice. Oh, and actually there is there is a bonus tile over here. Perhaps we'll head that way by building that there. So next up, we've got a house that needs exactly 17 houses. And what are the odds of that? If I place it there, we complete the quest. It's a nice one. We're up to 78 tiles. All right, I'm going to start rivering up to this tile here. I'm intrigued to see what it is. If we shove that there, that completes that quest. So we've got another quest with 17 on. If we add it to this, no way. It completes this one as well. <laughs> what are the odds? Anyway, I think we'll shove that there. We're up to 85 tiles. Let's add the forest one to that. Close off that side of the houses. Confirm that this guy is now on an island all on his own. Ah, oh, so little things in life. And then help close up this farm. Meanwhile, we're still heading towards this tile. In fact, we're so close we can see what it is. It looks like a ruin. It looks like an old castle. So if we build right next to it, we unlock it. Oh, it's on water. And it's got its own special quest. We've got to 
add at least 20 pieces of water to unlock that tile. Okay, so I guess we'll start building the seat. So those farms can go in there. That completes that quest. We're up to 80 tiles now. And then I want to go see what this one is. So we're building up this direction. Although our railway is going over that direction. Oh, look, we got a train. We've got a train. He's got a quest with four plus tiles needed. That we can see what happens when he goes into the boat station. Ready? He goes in. He just comes back out again. And now we just need to complete these two quests whilst closing them off. Because all three need closing. So that's going to be some fat questage once we complete that. Oh, and look, we can see what we're getting up there. Are they? I think they're deer. Okay, we've got to get up there to unlock the deer. All right, and just like that, we've managed to build up to this. So if we just plonk that there, look, we got deer. Oh, and it comes with its own tree quest. 259. That's quite a lot. But first, I'm going to focus on trying to finish this one. Because we are very nearly there. We just need 15 more trees. Oh, and this one does it. So let's shove that in. That's completed. Now we've got four quests that we'll complete if we close this. So what I might do, I might just sacrifice some pieces. Like if I put that there, that closes it off. They're all completed. We're up to 105 tiles. So it's time to start doing this tree quest. As well as adding to this river. And we can add one more bit of railway here. That completes the railway quest. And if I shove that river piece there, ready to connect to this river later, we finish the housing quest as well. We're up to 102 tiles now. Should probably put a boat station up there. Use this corner blob to close that up. Oh, and look, we've got an all grass square. So we can put that probably there. And then if we just put a grass piece on that edge and another one there, we get another perfect and another tile. We've then got that piece that will help us close the river and this one to confirm that this guy is indeed on an island all on his own. <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing, mate. The same's going to happen to you. Anyway, with that piece in, we finally completed the field quest. And look, our map's looking pretty nice, actually. Anyway, I think we've finally got enough pieces to close off this river, if that's what you want to call it. I guess it's more of a lake. So one piece goes there. And then this next piece, which is all grass, that's going to be a perfect tile. Oh, yes. Double perfect Ooh, 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 look, oh, look. So we've got here two houses and the rest are grass. Can you see the gap in the middle of the screen? Two houses, the rest is grass. That is perfecto. Meanwhile, I'm just finishing off this island. So this guy is well and truly trapped. Yep, serves him right for laughing at that other bloke. Uh, but apparently these two, they were laughing at both of them. So they're going to get the same treatment. Oh, and look, we've nearly made a hexagon railway. Forests always go up here. We're getting there with these. There you go, that completes one. The king one is the one I want to complete because then we gain the deer tiles. Oh, and we've got a single house on its own. That means we can quite easily put him on a little island on his own. Probably up there. This gives us a railway that's way too long. So perhaps we'll do... I'm thinking of doing like parallel railways and then connect them together at the end. There we go. That is the piece that ensures those two guys are stuck on an island on their own. <laughs> We've got a challenge unlocked, the green thumb. And look, there is the deer. You are claimed, Mr. Deer. And look how many tiles we have. <laughs> so next up, we just got to close this forest like that. Add a boat station somewhere. I tell you what, I could put one in the middle of this. And that's a perfect straight up. And then the world's straightest river completes the castle challenge up here. Nice. And if we go into rewards, you can see these are like all the challenges we're sort of working on at the same time. So that castle we unlocked, we got the Explorer 1 challenge. Yeah, we've got to connect three pre-placed tiles in total. So actually, we could probably do that pretty soon. If we zoom out, are there any pre-placed ones anyway? I can't see any. But as we had one there, we had one there. I'm going to assume we've got to head like up in this direction. Oh, and what is this mess of a railway piece we've just unlocked? Where is this going to go? <laughs> I guess it could go there. Well, look, we've got a bit of river that needs 10, so I can't connect it to my big one. This one is closed off. We could perhaps go out of there, or we could connect to this one. I feel like that works quite well. That sort of looks like a guitar neck and the headstock. So maybe we can create a guitar body lake down there. All right, we've got an end of railway and houses. That looks like the perfect spot. And likewise, that going there almost secures this guy on his own island. Literally going to be a barren island. No trees or farms or anything. Right, you've got another end of railway. May as well plonk that there. 
That can go there for a perfect around that railway. Very nice. And that piece there finishes off that river. Another perfect as well. We're up to 62 tiles, although they are dropping quite rapidly now. We'll look up here. That is the final piece to complete the railway challenge. And meanwhile, I'm just taking these houses up there. There's a challenge up here. I'm trying to get to another, another bonus tile. I don't know where they're hiding, though. Got a bit of tree and the rest is grass. That goes in there. That is a perfect tile. Meanwhile, here we've nearly got another perfect. The trouble with that one is going to be hard to complete because we'll need trees on the edge and the farms there because we don't want to finish those farms. Sod it. We'll put it there. I'm sure we'll get one eventually. But this is the piece that secures this guy's island. Look at all these people. <laughs> I've made them so miserable. They're all like alone. Right, we have an eight railway. Unfortunately, I combined it all, so it's all a bit mental at the moment. I mean, perhaps I could do a separate one and link it up later again. I don't really know if that's possible. We could start it there. Oh, look, we've got, we've got half forest, half field. Is this the perfect piece for here? Damn right it is. Another perfect, another tile. And very soon, I'm hoping that we'll see another another piece. Where, where are they? I'll tell you what, I could put another boat station there. We've made the strongest shape little boaty river thing here. Is that clutching at straws? I think that's clutching a bit. Ooh, we finally got a forest one. Let's shove that down there. All right, there's the start of our guitar body as well. <laughs> I think you're going to need a bit of imagination to see it how I see it. <laughs> Uh, but this is a two filled piece. You can see there's two individual filled pieces, which means we can add it to this. Probably like that, finish that quest. And then we just need a three. -er. We've got we got two bits of field there. So I'll shove that in. Finish the guitar with a perfect. That is, that is a guitar. It's like it's like one of those. Is it called an explorer? Like the, the Metallica lead singer guy's guitar. I, I reckon that's an explorer. I can see him holding that. All right, and then we are rapidly running out of tiles. We're down to 20. This ain't looking good. Although we have an all grass tile, which surely can go somewhere to get a perfect. I think our best bet is to go there with three on the edge. Right, here's a little field end so we can shove that there to finish that quest. And does it close it up? No, we need a railway to go in there to close it. Damn. So keep an eye out for a bit of railway. There's the single house to finish that quest. Oh, and there is the railway. So we can shove that there. They're both finished. Look, we're up to 27 tiles. I thought we were close to the end, but not anymore. There's one tree finished. An extra five tiles. I think we're getting pretty close to this farm one as well. We just need nine more. Yeah, I do need to ruin my guitar because I need to extend that river. So I'm going to do that. We're going to finish that railway. We've then got two chances of perfects in there as well. Oh, look, three tiles away. I think we have the perfect piece. So let's continue trying to stop up this one. All right, there we go. There's the two houses. We got a perfect as well in that. So we're back up to 26 tiles. We're on 12,000 points. Not meaning to brag, but check out DF's and Blitz's videos. I think we're beating both of them. All right, we got the one house, so let's shove that on here somewhere. Where's a place where we'll get the most points? I mean, there really wasn't anywhere good, so that will do. Oh, I connected it to the wrong... Oh, I connected it to the wrong one. <laughs> but that is a perfect piece to finish that. We're on to 21. We've just got to close up this area. Meanwhile, we've got another crazy railway piece. I don't really know where this railway is going. It is carnage. But we can use that to close off that edge. Oh, look, add a tree piece that's got a deer in it. That also gets us a quest as well. And then the final edge, if I just ignore the houses and do that, that finishes that quest. That's another five tiles. It was a sacrifice, but I think it paid off. Then add a few more trees to get another load of tiles. We're doing, we're doing well. We're doing really well. But we're down to our final 10 tiles. I lit I don't see any extra tiles that we can unlock around the edge. That's very disappointing. I thought there would be one up here. So what I could do is that. Or well, even better, do that. Shove that in there. And then that on that edge. It's a cheeky perfect. It's one extra tile. It probably wasn't worth it. <laughs> and then our final piece. Can we add it to the railway? No, we can't. So sadly, I think that is the end. 13,590 points. Look how shy of our high score we were. Just 140 points. Anyway, that was Dwarf Romantic. The full game is out now. Super, super fun. Really chill and addictive. You can even now, you can carry on in creative mode. You can literally grab an eyedropper tool, 
say I only want to create rivers like that. And just like that, you've created a very, very strong boating lake. <laughs> right, on that note, guys, peace, love, and boating lakes. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.